Yeah, you know, obviously another ACC opponent that we faced and last year, you know, how our season ended. You know, we came out here um, with a lot of fight in ourselves and we really wanted to come in here, you know, kind of make up for last year's loss and um, sorry. And um, you know, we didn't come out there and do that tonight. Um, but you know, moving forward, hopefully we'll see them again in the ACC tournament, but who knows. Sarah said after the Albany game that there was a bit of maybe revenge going into this game. I guess what did the team talk about leading up to this game and maybe going back to the yeah, you know, like going into practice, it was just kind of thinking about, you know, the seniors last year who had their season ended um, to them and kind of just keeping that in our mind and playing for each other and really, you know, wanting to prove ourselves, basically. Uh, yeah, you know, obviously, like in these close games like this, you know, there's going to be teams that go on runs and teams that don't go on runs. So they went on a big run uh, for themselves in the third quarter, um, you know. We didn't really possess the ball on offense. Um, off the draw, we couldn't really grab it. So there's just like a lot of things that kind of went into it. It wasn't just like one specific thing. Yeah, flip side, we Yeah, you know, um, after we scored one or two goals, the momentum shifted for us. We kind of grabbed onto that and kind of kept running with it. So after those four goals, you know, we were feeling good, you know, trying to push forward. How confident are you to see that team again on the right side? I'm hopeful. <laughs> At one point when you guys were down there before the first quarter started making a run back, there was a point where you met Fun and Emily were down at the end of the run, kind of just talking about it before you were going to run. What do you guys talk about in those moments where you're down and obviously you ended up coming back and playing that league? What do you talk about in those moments where you're down Yeah, you know, we kind of just talk about what just happened and how we can fix it and what we should do differently um, to, you know, score off of things or make sure that doesn't happen again and just kind of just chat about it really there's not much to it <laughs> you guys got megan back tonight for the first time in three games she's been out for five of the last six how difficult is it if, if, if it's at all difficult to work a player like her back into the offense obviously super talented but you guys have been working with a lot of new players over the last few weeks so how is that getting her back how did that work early on and you know it's been difficult. yeah something great about megan is like we've had her well she's been here for four years we've had her for most of the season um, so her chemistry is kind of already built in with all the players on offense. So when she was out, you know, we missed her, obviously. We had people step up for her. And, you know, her coming back in, I think, um, you know, she's readjusting back into the chemistry. She's stepping back into her spot and, uh, you know, just working towards that. For BC, obviously, everyone talks about Charlotte, but it was Bell who had a really big game today. Anything you see from her specifically, your five-goal performance that really stood out to you? Why do you think she presented such a big problem for the other side of the ball on defense? Yeah, she played really, really well. Um, you know, she's a very smart player inside the eight, so being able to be in, in there and maneuver herself was definitely something um, that was working for her, obviously.